Hey guys, what's up? Um, my name is Miyamika, and I am here today to show you guys my hermit crabs. Um, just kind of give you some information that I know about hermit crabs. Um, this is what I do with my hermit crabs. I have four. I take care of them this way. I'm not saying that I'm a hermit crab expert or anything, um, but I will say that I have, um, I think I do take care of them pretty well. I've done quite a lot of research behind this as well. Um, so uh, if anything can help you, please let me know. Um, yeah. All right, guys. So welcome. Um, as you guys can see, I've already sprayed the tank. Um, so what you guys were going to want to do for that, um, I got a bottle. It's just like three bucks. It's super cheap. It's really beneficial. Um, I live in Colorado, so the it's really dry up here. And what you guys are going to want to do, I would show you, but I've already done this because I keep messing up the video. But anyway, so what you do is you get the dirt and you, uh, you just spray it like this. And once, you know, as you start shooting it down like this, it starts to lose its fuel. So what you want to do is you want to hold it away from the tank and just spray it this way. Because that way you can get it back and then it's a super easy way of getting it. Um, so you guys, just for tank basics, um, you're definitely going to want to have a hiding place. Um, you're going to want to have the sand and the dirt. Don't get pebbles. Don't, um, I would say pretty much just leave it at hermit crab sand and, and the dirt or the soil or whatever. They call it just because um, when you, you know, the pebbles can hurt them, the rocks, any any other type of thing can really hurt them. That's not really what their um, their natural habitat is. You don't walk around rocks all the time. Um, also, you guys are gonna want to have two water things. Um, you're gonna want to have so salt water. So I almost said soap water, salt water, and um, and just regular water. You're going to want to have filters on both of these. Uh, I can actually go get the filters. Um, but this is the salt water, and this is the regular one. Um, it's good to have like a cap, like for this one, this one's almost out, but it says S on it for salt. Uh, that's how I do it. Um, also, you guys are wanna, going to want to feed them, you know, every so often. I would say a lot of people say you want to change your food every day. I just think that's kind of a waste of food. Uh, I would say every other day would be really good if you can. Um, just because there's bugs that get in and actually they get in their shells, which is really, really bad and that's really hard to get out. And once you get it in one, you get them in all of them. So that's a really big issue. Um, this is just a 10 gallon tank with four. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting anything smaller. This glass tank is exactly what you're gonna wanna get. I wouldn't get um, the, the wire tanks or the um, those little like, you know the ones with the little like holes on the top or whatever. Um, those are way too small and they don't even help them. This keeps the humidity in there, um, which is really beneficial, especially because I live in Colorado. So um, they, that keeps the humidity in. Um, I don't know if I already went over this, but this light is another thing I definitely would recommend. Um, it's very shiny, it's very bright. Um, but it's super easy to work, it's super cheap. It's like, I think it's like 10 bucks at Petco. Uh, let me get the water fill. This is the box for it. It's the day and night one. Uh, definitely is worth the money. I would also say get moss. Uh, putting moss in here is really beneficial. Um, it really gives them some place to kind of just chill. As well as um, they give these to birds, but they're, um, they're, they're cuddle bones and this gives them a lot of protein. So what I like to do is I like to get scissors and I like to just scrape it off on the top and put it on their food every once in a while, just so they can keep healthy and uh, have all that jazz there. Um, as well as um, just making sure that it's, you missed it three, three, I would say three times a day for where I live, it really does just depend. Um, I live in probably one of the driest states in America, so if you live in a dry place, that definitely I would recommend that, if not more. Um, also, what I would do for food, um, do not ever, ever get these types of foods. These can actually lead to molting problems and um, other deformities as they grow and other issues. Uh, it's really bad for them. I would just honestly give them very healthy, um, just things that you would eat. Uh, potato chips work actually if they're not like all seasoned pretty much as long as it's not seasoned spicy um, processed really anything all natural they they're savages 
They're called hermits for a reason. They will eat anything. Um, and for food, once again, um, I would recommend just putting it in every other day because you don't really want to waste food. Um, so with that being said, um, you also want to get some things for them to climb on. This back wall thing here, um, it's actually really good for them. My, one of my fir the first one I got actually climbed all the way to the top and almost got out. They do that. They need to climb. That's, uh, they like doing that. That's how they are. Um, another tip I would say is the more the merrier, for sure. Um, you're not going to want to overcrowd the tank. So get a big enough tank. Personally, I think four hermit crabs is enough. Ten, ten, ten gallon tank for that. Um, just because you want 2.5-ish for 2.5 gallons per one, which is why most of those tanks, those other types of tanks wouldn't work out. Um, but you're going to want to have to have that. As well as any kind of uh, painted shells, that actually they can eat that, and it's really bad for them, and it, they can choke on it. There's a lot of different health issues, so if you can buy them uh, with those shells, but make sure to get these natural shells like this one. Um, they're just, you know, they're not super painted. They're they're real. Um, I don't know. I think that's the best thing you can do for them. Um, you gotta make sure you want to clean this every month or two. Um, also, definitely give them some time to explore, like I'm going to be doing um, in this video as well. Um, I want to introduce you to them. Um, they, they love being out. They love climbing around. Um, and they might be scared at first. I actually got them from um, a very overcrowded place. Um, definitely, they, they knew somewhat of what they were doing, but I don't think that they were to the best of their knowledge. Um, but, you know, they, they when you hold them, they... They start to grow and bond with you. They really do have character. I'm, I, that sounds crazy. That sounds really stupid. I know. I promise you I'm not some psycho animal person. Um, these are really good pets for sure. Uh, they're, they're not very expensive. And it's really important to know that. Um, you also, um, it's fun to have these little things like I'm crabby. Ha ha ha. ha puns. Um, so or the, what, what's up with me and soap today? Uh, sponges for sure um, also uh, make sure to clean the bowls I would say every other day um, it's really easy you just got to run them underwater um, and yeah let me let me show you my hermit crabs alrighty so here uh, I just have a nice little tank or a little blanket for them um, it's really nice to have this um, make sure to play with them on the floor don't don't be walking around with them and stuff because they will fall and that's um, yeah, but you're gonna also a really good tip as well is to make sure to have treats for them uh, while you hold them and just kind of have that out. Um, usually I would hold them on my bed, but um, and take it, be really, really careful. Make sure that they do not fall off. Um, but honestly, you can just put them on your hand, and um, they're really nice too. Yeah, uh, this one's named Timothy. Let me give you their names. This one's Timothy. Here you go, buddy. Here. Um, this one is Sid. This this one right here. This one's Kendra, and this one's Wayne. Wayne actually lost an arm. That happens. You don't need need to worry. Um, they grow them back. This one. Um, but you want to make sure to get them all kind of in the same size, uh, for purposes of you don't want one to bully the other. Um, I actually think that Tim Timothy would have been a little bit too small, but I pushed it a little bit. Um, he actually picks on the other ones a lot of the time. Um, so um, there's that. Also, um, how you can identify if they are boys or girls. Um, these ones are a little bit smaller, the boys. Um, and here's the, the girl. The girl is uh, much lighter skinned as well. Um, and there, she's a lot bigger. Um, you can kind of notice that when she comes on out. Um, uh, they're very nice. Um, just to cover more while they're out. Um, they're... Definitely get moss, I would say for sure. Um, I know I think I've repeated that, but it's, it really does help. Um, as what, sorry, I've done these videos a couple times, so I don't know what I have and haven't covered. Um, but I just want to go over it a couple times so you guys get it. Do not get them this food. Don't get them any type of canned food like this. 
they are they are animals you know you want to give them natural things um and as you can see yeah they're very easy to hold but you don't want to give them this kind of stuff um tips on food types of food they're uh, from a tropical place tropical type beach place which is why you have to have two different types of water um so they can bathe as well as drink um but they um here let me let me get this one for you they are super um i don't even know where i was going with that they're really good pets um i definitely would recommend one um i actually did a lot of research on pets um getting getting these um if you actually want to come see kendra um so she's a lot lighter oh wait that's sid what am i doing sid is a little bit lighter actually so if you want to compare the two here's wayne i'll just send him closer for you guys today this is special they usually don't get to uh go across their blankets um so actually it's, yeah so this one this one is kendra and um she is a lot lighter than sid sid's pretty light as well um but timothy as you can see is quite dark and so is wayne and that's why I named Sid Sid because Sid is both a girl and a boy name. So I think that you don't you can't really go wrong with that. Um, a couple other things as well. Um, also, they do not bite necessarily um, unless they are hungry. So the reason why they uh, would pinch you in any way is because you're not feeding them. So that would be on you um, as long as you feed them and you're not throwing them. You know, everyone has that reaction if you. Are about to fall you're gonna grab on and that's exactly what they do um also i would just keep in mind that they do not like to be sp like directly sprayed um also you don't need to give them baths i personally don't um i think that it's unnecessary i think they can bathe themselves you know that's why you have two two things of water um just another tip as well you're gonna want to get um crabs that move around a lot uh you're not going to get ones that are like dead because when you um, you want active ones, if you want active ones, you're in healthy ones. You're gonna want to get ones that are moving around when you're there. If so I think that's gonna be it for us today, guys. Um, sorry, my camera's a little bit uh, shaky there. Um, so I hope you guys really have enjoyed this video. Um, it's been a lot of fun making it. Um, please let me know if you guys have any questions. I know I just kind of covered some things, and unfortunately I don't have enough time to cover everything. But I just wanted to go over a couple tips with you. Um, these are absolutely great pets. Um, just treat them right. Treat them with dignity and respect. As much as the, how stupid that sounds, yes, but they are they are animals. They are living things, and if you treat them with love and respect, you'll get them back. Um, there's this one really really beautiful moment um, that I had where I put one the really shy one on my hand. Um, actually, it was Kendra. Kendra was really really shy. And she just crawled up and down my arm. And I, as weird as this is, I almost started crying because I was just so proud of her as well as I was proud of myself for doing that. I would say this really, it has taught me a lot about respect for animals. and um, But yeah, just make sure to get them natural shells as well. I don't know if I added that. I'm gonna add it again. Get them natural shells, treat them right, spray every three times a day we'll just go over all this stuff uh, make sure to give them moss moss they enjoy so much um yeah natural shells don't get painted ones um they're they're really easy to take care of if you just put your heart to it um i hope you guys have liked this video please let me know if you guys have any questions i will personally ta directly talk to you if you have any questions um I'll, i'm always happy to help you i'm I will look it up even if I personally don't know it, I will find out the answer for you. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and here are the hermit crabs as they say goodbye. And there's Timothy that's going under the bed and Kendra as well. All right. Oh, one more thing. Sorry. One more thing. Get them in pairs because they, um, they actually come in hundreds. I did not know that. I think that sounds kind of terrifying. Um, they do come in hundreds. Um, they um, they like to be together. So getting one is a terrible idea. I would say the more the merrier.